Hello Scorpio, welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I'm here today to do your reading for mid-April 2020. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. It's not going to resonate with everyone out there. If you find that this reading is not resonating with you, please check your moon and your rising sign. There will be an extended version of this reading on Vimeo. There is a link in the description box below. If you find that this reading is resonating with you and you want more information, there the link will take you to my Vimeo On Demand page and you will be able to see the extended portion. Other than that, we're going to start off with a couple of messages from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. Angels, Divine Spirits, and Guides. What messages do we have for my Scorpio friends for the rest of April 2020? What does Scorpio need to know? Show them the message they need to see. Scorpio, let's take that one. It was coming out. By the book, not breaking the rules. This card is kind of like the Hierophant. It's traditional, traditional values. On the bottom of the deck, we have go the distance. That is about determination, motivation, to get to the finish line to do something mending hmm you may have someone who wishes to repair something with you fix something that's what mending is strange combination though someone is willing to go to any length to repair something Maybe now this person is willing to follow the rules and step up to the plate and stop being such a, you know, whatever they were. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's what I'm getting from that. Let's see what we get from the tarot. Ace of Wands in reverse. No passion. Not feeling inspired. Not feeling energized in a relationship. Hmm, the lover's sign of Gemini. So maybe the passion has been lost in a relationship. Oh, there's that Hierophant. I'm just going to make this the last shuffle. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. All right. So the Hierophant seems to be very significant here. And there's that lover's card back on the bottom of the deck. So is this a marriage? Let's see what we get. Let's um, let's take the first three cards by shuffle. Angels, divine spirits, and guides. What messages do we have for my Scorpio friends, please? For April, the rest of April 2020. Show Scorpio what they need to see. No. Ooh, they said no. Not that one. Not that one. <laughs> All right, angels. What do we got? The moon in reverse, some clarity, Cancer and Pisces energy, knowing what you need to do, a realization, have you figured something out, figured out that you don't want to lose someone or maybe they don't want to lose you. Wow, are you not speaking to someone, Scorpio? Usually, when I have this much struggle in shuffling, it's because someone's not communicating. Uh-uh. All right. We're going to cut them and get them out. I'm not going to sit here and keep shuffling all day. King of Wands reversed well that's definitely someone who doesn't follow the rules okay well we got a whole bunch of cards all right we'll take them
for the last three, I'm going to cut one, two, three, that, that, and ta -da! one, two, three. Okay. Wow. Empress and the Emperor with the Ace of Cups. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Three of Cups reversed. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Cups reversed. So someone is unhappy that they missed an opportunity and got rejected. And now they're ready to do something about it to repair this relationship. There's that lover's card again. Someone can't let go of the past here. This has been coming up a lot. A lot. People are not letting people go. <laughs> Some I, I've noticed in the majority of the readings that people are standing their ground. Like cutting people off. I'm done. That's it. I'm not doing it anymore. I quit. You win. I'm not going to fight for this. And then once you do that, people, they panic. They get nervous and they're like, whoa, 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 hold on a minute. Okay, well, let's talk about this because we got possibly a king of wands over here who likes his freedom and doesn't want to commit going to an emperor with possibly an engagement ring here. What is going on? <laughs> Jesus, Scorpio. I mean, that's not the reading, but that's what I'm seeing right off the bat. So, kind of strange the way that this reading is laid out. I am feeling like someone's getting rejected here. This is almost like somebody is mending something here. I'm going to tell you that. Somebody has a, had a big wake-up call. I feel like there was a breakup at one time. And this empress left and maybe decided to be with someone else. I'm kind of wondering if this guy had a wake-up call and realized that he wanted to be the emperor to this empress and he wanted to stop playing around. But with the mending card here, there's some type of a past relationship that's being healed. So let's start at the beginning. Anyway, the moon is about realization. It's about clarity. It's about not being afraid, not having anxiety, not being confused, like something has come to light. And then this king of wands in reverse, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, someone who likes their freedom, someone who won't commit, someone who plays around, Someone who just won't step up to the plate. But then we have this Eight of Swords in reverse, sign of Gemini. To me, that's freedom. But it is also, once again, facing your fears. Realizing that you do have options. It's almost like this Empress left this person because she was tired of dealing with the way that they were, their attitude just realized that the relationship wasn't moving forward. He wasn't worth her time. She took back her power, like strongly. And this King of Wands realized that he loves her. You know that song, Don't Know What You Got Till It's Gone? I feel like that's what's going on here. The Three of Cups in Reverse is the overall energy sign of cancer. It's, it's uh, about not being social. So I feel like with everything that's going on in the world, that's why this happened. There could have been a third party involvement somewhere along the line. If the Empress broke up with this Emperor in the past, started dating this guy, and she realized she didn't want to be there, then she, you know, went back to this Emperor, obviously. And now they're getting married, they're falling in love, they're having a baby. Somebody could be pregnant here. I mean, that's very clear. I got birth so strongly down the center of this reading. But I feel like somebody realized after they got rejected that they were missing an opportunity for long-term commitment. Somebody realized that they really love this person. There's, I don't know if there's two children here or four children here. I feel like there's two children. 
So maybe this empress was a single mom. And at the time, maybe the emperor wasn't sure that he wanted to be a father to someone else's children. So he let it go. Let's undo the mending. Co-create. Let's co-creating with spirit. This has soulmate. This has twin flame. This has true love written all over it. This was a blessing. This was heaven sent, this relationship. The buy the book card is the thing that makes me feel like this person now wants to step up to the plate and do the right thing. Somebody has learned that they made some mistakes in their past and they've grown with like wisdom and experience. And they're standing strong and saying, I, you know, I'm not going to let that happen anymore. Going the distance is about, that's somebody that's in it for the long haul. I keep hearing, why don't you just meet me in the middle? I know that's a song. I don't really know it too well, but I feel like there was some type of compromise here. There's forgiveness, there's healing, there's making amends. I feel like this relationship went through a test. The Empress, Libra Taurus energy, she said, I'm going to take the ball back and put it in my court. And I'm going to let you come to me because I'm tired of chasing you. I'm tired of putting up with you. It's time for me to be the boss. She's feeling beautiful. She's feeling confident. And this emperor came. He is, this emperor is receiving a gift. There's so much success and abundance in this reading. <laughs> you even have two eights on both corners. You got a bunny rabbit down here. The Empress is about abundance. The Ace of Cups is abundance. This is manifesting, growing, making future plans. Somebody's planning a wedding. Somebody either got engaged or they're pregnant. There's a, there's a wedding on the table here. I don't feel like it's happening anytime soon, unfortunately, because of what's going on, but they're talking about it. This emperor is so excited and so passionate. He's running around telling everybody, I'm in love. I'm in love. <laughs> That's what I'm getting from this reading. He's so excited that this empress has come back to him. I feel like y'all could have been talking on the internet. There's something about, you know, the pages are online communication. The three of cups to me is online. Somebody did not like the fact that they were rejected and they lost their power. What do you mean? I can't come in and out of your life anymore and I can't control you anymore. And she's like, no, you can't. I'm, I'm done with that. I'm done. I quit. I give up. It's over. Talk about a wake up call. She said, I don't, I don't need you. I'm the empress. I could do this all by myself. I don't need you coming in my life and causing all of this drama. Scorpio, your dreams are becoming a reality. That's what I'm going to call this reading. Whatever you wanted, whatever you were praying for, it is yours. Finally. That's what I'm hearing. Finally, after all this struggle, it is yours. You are so emotionally happy and excited right now. I love when I get a beautiful reading. It's so nice to have that. You were very nurturing. You were just giving and giving and giving to this person. And they weren't giving back to you. And you gave up on them. And boy, did they do a complete 360. Ace of Cups in the center of the reading. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. I mean, what can I say about this card? It's a new beginning here. I feel like this is a renewal of a past love or a rekindled romance. I don't feel like it's a new person. You all have known each other before. It's a very intense connection. It's like a perfect love with so much potential. It didn't have potential in the past, but somebody literally realized they were depressed that they missed an opportunity and got rejected. And they thought about this for a long time. Hermit in reverse. That is a reunion. It's someone who did a lot of soul searching, a lot of thinking. I spent a lot of time alone. 
Now they're ready to talk, ready to communicate. They're done thinking. They know what they want. And look what they want. <laughs> the lovers. Wow. Twin flames. You are right where you were supposed to be. What was under there? Yeah, the six of cups in reverse. See, somebody couldn't let go of the past here. The page of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's a learning Talk about communication. I mean, page of pentacles, page of bonds, good news. Somebody learned a big lesson. That's what they learned. This person was like literally panicking. I think that you might have been a little nervous too there, Miss Empress, because I'm feeling like a tough love here. I have to just let this person go. They're not stepping up to the plate. They're not giving me what they want, what I want. They're playing games. I'm going to let them go, and I'm going to hope that they have a wake-up call and come back to me. And they did. I mean, we're setting goals. We're laying a foundation. It's at the very beginning stages for the second time. So who knows what it'll be down the road. But right now, it's absolutely gorgeous. The strength card in reverse, sign of Leo. I feel like you did quit. I feel like you were exhausted. You're saying this person's just too wild. I can't tame them. They're never going to commit to me. They're never going to do the right thing by the book. That's what you were saying. But then you heard from them. Page of Wands. Look at all the flowers that are blooming here. There's mountains here. There's mountains here and there's mountains here. I do feel like there is obstacles that need to be overcome here. But we're ready to talk. We're ready to work it out. I feel like you're excited, Scorpio. Someone's vibration is very high with excitement and passion and happiness and love. And I mean, what other words can I come up with? I'm running out of words here. This reading is so beautiful. Someone's creativity is also very high, like fun and playful and flirting you're so excited. Like, look, I love this card. This little boy, he's so excited. He's running around telling everybody, guess what? I'm in love. I'm in love. I met the person of my dreams. We're getting married. We're having children. We're moving in together. We're making plans. I'm in it for the long haul. She's the best thing that ever happened to me. I don't know. Final outcome, the emperor, sign of Aries. Husband material being strong doing the right thing he's being responsible being logical using his head he realized that he was about to lose the best thing that ever happened to him i'm gonna pull um i mean i don't even need to know if i need any more um, cards for this reading. It's so wonderful, but I am going to take a final message from the Animal Spirit Oracle deck, if anybody is interested in that. What final messages do we have for Scorpio before we take this extended portion on over to Vimeo? What does Scorpio need to know for this reading on the table angels please look at that take the leap of faith do it scorpio do it i love it grasshopper spirit you don't know you know what i mean when you take a leap of faith you don't know how it's going to turn out but right now it's looking pretty good freedom Freedom is yours. Absolutely gorgeous. You're free from all that past negativity. The horse is, uh, it's a horse, you know, it's moving forward. It's determined to overcome obstacles. I feel like somebody's saying, we're going to do this. We're going to do it. I'm so excited and I'm so happy. Let's make it happen. Okay, Scorpio, I'm going to take the rest of this over to Vimeo, and we'll see. Boy, I can't wait to pull the love cards for this one. If this is going to work out, if it was a good decision, that somebody definitely followed their heart here.
If you are choosing to not join me on Vimeo, thank you so much for watching and good luck with your situation. If you are joining me on Vimeo, there is a link in the description box below and I will see you on the other side.